sex. They can be good and they can be really bad yeah, and the pesky. Bad ones. So yeah. what do you do? What should you be looking for to try and fight them? This right here. That uh -oh. there is where you walk to the garden and you go, oh! Someone ate right through your plant. So it's a hoss leaf. What do you think this is? What do I think ate it? Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Audience. Slugs, slugs, slugs. I heard some slugs out there. That's is it right. Is a slug? Yeah, it's definitely a slug. They're hungry. So, Hoss is shade plant. Yeah. Uh, being a shade plant, they're fantastic. They offer us beautiful foliage in the shade. However, a, a slug likes an area that's going to be dark and wet and moist and warm. And right. so slugs is what will eat these. So there are some other varieties that will be a little bit more resistant. So you usually find that the blue varieties tend to have a little bit more resistance to slug. Okay. The ones that are more variegated with a white generally get eaten really easy. Yeah, There's a slug yummy. bait that's available, which is sl called Slug Begone. Uh -huh. It's safe for children and pets, so you can just put that down. The other thing that you can do is you can either put crushed eggs shells around the base of your plant. They don't like uh, eggs. They well, they walk across it and it cuts them up. Oh, they so, can't they can't make it. Oh, they're going, oh, wait till they eat your friggin' hosta. <laughs> uh, yeah, then you'll be like, not all. Oh. That's when you're like, oh, I gotta take care of you. <laughs> so um, when if you do want to use something like slug be gone, do you know where you apply that? You put that right on the it's, soil. It's or a bait. You're gonna put it around the base of the plant. Around, around the, the base. The other okay. part too is if you like mussels, you eat seafood, you can crush those shells up too, use them in the garden too. That's diatomaceous earth. Okay. So the other thing that comes and eats a lot of our plants are beetles. And beetles are yeah. a hard shelled insect. First thing is, let's say that we're walking through the garden. There's right. your rose bush do, right do, there. Do. And all of a sudden you look to that rose bush and you notice that there's an insect on yes. that plant. First thing, what do you do? I don't know. I get the heck out of there. I'm afraid of insects. Okay. I run away. Not the right answer. Okay. Okay. First Spray thing you, soap, you water. First thing you do, that's a good thing. That's yeah? a good thing. First thing you do is try to make sure you know what the insect is. Okay. Let's say that on roses, a lot of the times it's aphids. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our hose, high pressure wash, okay. and blast it off the plant. Right. Next step that we're going to do on a day when it's not going to be a rainy forecast, it's earlier in the morning, is indeed you can either make your own insecticidal soap or use Bug Be Gone. It is a, as well is an insecticidal soap that'll take care of insects like aphids. Yeah. The difficulty though is is with beetles. Say if it was a beetle that's on there, mm. a beetle. What do you do when you see a beetle? Run. No. <laughs> Soapy water. No. This time. High pressure water. You can help. It will wash them off. Eggshells. No. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest way that people would take care of bugs take is just take it off. Take it off oh, and squish it. Oh no. The pick and Why? squish. What's another option? <laughs> the other option, I'm glad you asked. Because this here doesn't look like much, but this here is a beetle trap. Okay. And what's right in here is you see that substance that's right now. I'm not going to release it because we'll track beetles from high all over the place. This really? here is pheromones. This okay. is a, and it's a pheromone trap, so which basically means that it's like cologne for beetles. Yeah. So what I'll you do is you put it in it. and all the beetles will come and you put this on top and the beetles fly in, they get caught, they can't get out. Okay. okay. The worst thing that people do with these pheromone traps is they usually put them right beside the plant that's getting eaten. Yeah. Bad mistake. Why? Because it attracts beetles from everywhere. So okay. a lot of the times you get more beetles into that area. Got so it. I often say that if there's a neighbor you don't like, <laughs> You go and you put the trap in on there. Their no. Garden. no, you put this far away from anything that's out there. So just keep it keep it away from the garden and they're gonna go mm -hmm. and you're gonna trap them and mm -hmm. attract them away from your plants. Yeah. How are you at weeding your garden? Oh, terrible. Oh, good. When we have to do it, we try and get the kids involved. That's the best way. Child yeah. labor. Yeah, awesome. for sure. Let's Child all do it bad. together, kids. Just to let you know that a garden that has a lot of weeds is usually going to have a higher occurrence of insects and disease. Right. Uh, by weeding your garden, you're going to have improved airflow that goes through the garden. And making sure that your garden's not packed tight is yeah. how you can minimize disease. To okay. take care of disease, a lot of the times, so you're going to use garden sulfur. Garden sulfur is a fungicide, and that's what disease is. So black spot, powdery mildew, mm -hmm. those are the things that you want to do. You want to minimize the weeds, so pulling those weeds out is going to help. Yeah. Uh, also, if you have any caterpillars that are out there, oh yeah, this is called BTK. If you're wondering what that is, that's a natural bacteria yeah. that will also infect the caterpillars and take care of those. So there's lots of options out there. Just know what you have. Yeah. And remember, when in doubt, pick it and squish it. Oh my gosh, could you imagine just going through every single one? Come on in here, if, if you uh, have Leanne boys, and Ricardo. Would you do that? Would you pick it and squish Ricardo it? Ricardo would pick and right squish. Right off, would you oh. pick and squish? Every nope. morning at 5.30, I'm in my garden, I pick and squish. Yeah. <laughs> so you, this is garden Ricardo. confessions. <laughs> confessions of a gardener. Do. do you pick and squish? I do not. I proudly do not pick and squish. Me neither. Put it here, girlfriend. All right, thanks for watching. See you <laughs>